Curing meat is a process that I think is best described as magic. It's something I was totally oblivious to before getting into butchery. Meat, covered in salt, left to sit and drain its inner juices, then left to hang will end up enhancing the flavor, bringing out unique notes and making it last forever, or however long it takes for you to eat it. Bacon is one of those meats that tastes 10 times better when salt cured or brined. Add another 10 if smoked. These days, bacon is no longer cured with salt, but rather with nitrates. This is a much faster process where bacon is injected with chemicals that gives it that unique store-bought bacon taste at the cost of making it a lot less healthy and natural. And even more importantly, it's not beautiful. Salt curing takes longer, but results in a much more natural and beautiful product. Curing your bacon couldn't be easier. Simply cover the exterior with a coating of salt, shake off the excess, then store in your refrigerator for four to five days to let osmosis do its thing. After that, we're going to wash our bacon in lukewarm water to cleanse it from the remaining salt. Finally, we're going to leave it to hang in a cool environment for a few weeks. After that, your bacon is ready. Spanish jamón. It's something that's been my personal favorite ever since traveling to Spain with my dad. Something about the thinly sliced pieces that then melt in your mouth really gets me going. It's something that will always make me want to go back to Spain. First, to debone the hams. Once again, coat the exterior with a layer of salt and then hang for a week. This time, re-salt the exterior to ensure that it has been emptied of its juices. These guys will be allowed to develop their flavor from six months up to two years, but we usually can't wait that long. Usually when curing, you're trying to take as much moisture out of the meat to avoid spoilage. Brining is almost the opposite. It's basically a way to cure the meat while infusing it with flavors and keeping the meat from getting tough. Sugar is often used as well as salt to give it that slightly sweet flavor that a breakfast bacon would have. One thing we've come to enjoy is adding juniper berries. It makes for a nice spiced fruity flavor with a nice caramelized surface from the sugar. We're putting in the brine some ham, ham hocks, and some pork chops, which will brine for about a month and then can be hanged. You can brine for longer, although it might start growing mold on the top, which isn't a big problem anyways. In that case, you want to end up cooking the meat to be safe. As always, observe and make your own judgments along the way. So far, I've found that anything made with patience will end up having a better result.